Hi folks, this is Danny. Welcome to another video here on Danny's Corner. Today I want to talk about something funny, or maybe not too funny, that happened to me while I was making uh, three videos. And those three videos were supposed to be only, it was supposed to be only one video, but it came to three videos and I would like to explain that and also what happened so I'm gonna link the three videos somewhere in the description or the comment section so you guys can go and check them out one of them does not have sound so let me get to the story and uh, continue with the story that I wanted you guys to hear on my last video that doesn't have any sound. So it turns out that I was talking about dumb questions asked by sighted people. And at the end of that video, my mic decided to go out. For whatever reason, I am not able to switch to the computer mic when this mic goes out so I think the cable is loose on this one and I need to get another one so anyway when the cable goes out accidentally that means there's no video I don't know how it works I'm just telling you what I'm experiencing and so that happened and so I had to make a second video talking about my technical problems and so and then I get into this whole thing with uh, Netflix and an accessibility and then I get into YouTube and another service that they had or have I'm not sure that's called you describe so in the middle of that the mic goes out again so it was an abrupt video on the third video which I thought I was talking because I could hear myself and I'm gonna repeat again what I had said on another video uh, the setup that I have so I know that in front of me I have a computer and people could see me because they've told me so and for those people who do not know or who are visually impaired I have two sets of headphones one of them is a headphone connected to the mic that I'm using right now that's to monitor the sound that comes out so I'm able to hear myself the other in this case it's a pair of headphones I usually wear earphones with that too it's connected to an iOS device and that is to either monitor the time so I don't exceed the time that I have allotted myself for these videos and or it's to um, read something or to check something and um, so that's what I was doing and for whatever reason there's no sound on this third video in which I was trying to describe to you or I was trying to further explain what you describe is and how it works so let me do that now after I said all of that so what you describe is it's an app and again I'm not sure if you could find it on the App Store or Android if you are able to find it please let me know but it's an app and what it does it um, it helps uh, visually impaired people to know how um, the it, it helps uh, people who are visually impaired to um, know what a YouTube video content um, has so people describe YouTube videos 
And these are volunteers. So, for example, last time I checked in, there was a video on Frozen, uh, the trailer described. And for copyright reasons, I'm not able to show that to you or enable for you to listen to it. But um, it's there. It's there. Um, what else? Um, and so what tends to happen with these videos is that uh, when people are describing them in the Frozen trailer video, for example, it's about a minute and a half or thereabouts. And so the person who's describing the video has to stop the video at a certain part to fit in the entire description or the entire scene that they're trying to describe. And again, these people are not professionals. They're volunteers and they just do it out of the sheer enjoyment of describing videos to blind people. And so with that said, the track that was supposed to be a minute and a half long for the original video turns out to be two minutes and 30 seconds long with the described portion added to it. Keep in mind that when you go to services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, or any other video streaming service that has audio description, it takes the, the same amount of time because they mix the track with the original audio or video track. And so there's no problem with that. But since these people are volunteers, the only thing that you get is two separate tracks and they end up um, synchronizing with one another um, to provide the blind user with the best experience. So there you have it. Um, that's what you describe is. That's what I was trying to describe to you on the third video that failed miserably. I'm still going to keep it up, although it doesn't have any sound, because this is a funny story. And in case you didn't know, I don't have anybody helping me with these videos. It's just me alone. And thus far, people have enjoyed this boring content because I have 28 subscribers on this channel and 22 on my Spanish channel. So if you enjoy boring content like this, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share and like these videos and give me your comments, your suggestions, and you'll see me next time. I don't think I'll do the same thing. Catch you later, though.